OK, so in the last part of the tutorial, we successfully converted currency using our function that we've built. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and implement a user form that's going to allow a user to uh, type in an amount, a currency from, and a currency to. And we also want to return an error if anything goes wrong, i.e. if this function returns false. So let's go ahead and build our form up. So form action equals something, method equals something, end our form. Now action we're going to leave blank, so we're going to post back to this page. Uh, method we're going to set to post, and inside here we need to create our fields. So I'm going to create a paragraph just here, and inside of here I'm going to say amount. I'm going to break down one line, and I'm going to create an input type of text, and I'm going to give this a name, and that's going to be amount. So this is the name that we're going to use PHP to pick up. Okay, so create another paragraph just down here, and we want to say from, so we want the user to specify from. Now this could by all means be a drop-down list, but I'm not going to go through the uh, hassle of creating a drop-down list of currencies, uh, but obviously you, you, uh, you're giving the user a lot more freedom, and if any new currencies were able to pop up in the future, uh, you're covered as they can just enter them uh, freestyle. So uh, we create another input type, and that is text. And we give this a name as well. So this name is going to be from. And we do exactly the same thing, but to. So another paragraph, to. Break down. Input type equals. I can type it properly. Text. Evidently I can't. So name equals to. OK, so now we're going to go and create our submit button. And then our form will be complete. So input type equals submit. OK, we're done. So let's go ahead and preview that in our browser. You can see that we've got amount, from, and to. So we can type in any amount here. We can type in a currency here. And we can type in a currency here. Now, just a quick note, the beauty of this is because we're using the Google Calculator API, we have complete control or complete flexibility over which um, currencies we actually choose. So we can choose you know, any, any currency we want at all. Uh, so you're not restricted to any currency. You'll always get the latest uh, currency because it's constantly being updated and monitored by Google. So, you know, this is a, a real advantage to this. OK, so when the form submitted, we need to go ahead and check that the form actually has been submitted. Uh, just a quick note beforehand, uh, this function file probably shouldn't be kept on this page. It probably should be kept in an external file that you keep all of your functions in, you know, like a general function file or something like that. Uh, but for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to keep it all on one page. OK, so once the user has submitted the form, we need to uh, perform a check just around here uh, to check if the form has been set, so or, or it, if each value is set. So let's create an if, uh, if statement. And we'll say dollar underscore post uh, amount. So we're checking for this posted value amount. Comma separating, because we can pass uh, an unlimited amount of, um, oops, sorry, I've completely done that wrong. We want is set dollar underscore post amount. And as I said before, I was saying you can comma separate values within is set uh, and give uh, an unlimited amount of uh, parameters to this. So dollar underscore post and in here from. And lastly, we want to check that the two value has been uh, set as well. So two. So echo uh, form. Submitted. Let's go ahead and check that out, make sure everything's working. When we click submit, it says form submitted. Now, I'm not going to include validation as in, you know, validating that this is a number or that these are text uh, or even validating that they actually, you know, have been filled out. Uh, I'll leave that up to you, uh, otherwise, we'll waste time in the tutorial. So what we want to go ahead and do is we want to create a variable that holds our conversion data. Now remember our currency convert function returns an array. So if we go ahead and create a variable called conversion, and we want that to equal currency convert. And then here we can pass through the data that we submitted from our form. Now we can either go ahead and just directly pass it in as dollar underscore post, etc., uh, or we can create variables uh, for it. So, for example, we could say uh, amount equals dollar underscore post amount, and let's just bring that down, make it a bit 
Anita, and we can say from equals dollar underscore post from, and then we can say uh, to equals dollar underscore post to. Depends on how extensively you're going to be using these different variables. Uh, you just want to assign them to their own variables. Uh, we can go ahead and use say amount from and to. So we're now passing these values that has be, have been submitted by the user into our function, which is then going to return uh, the uh, from value and the to value. So what we now need to do is check whether this function has returned false. Now, if the function has returned false, uh, we can assume you know that something's gone wrong. We don't know exactly what might have gone wrong. It might have been the to value, the from value, it might have even been the amount. So we're just going to give a general error message. So we create an if statement here, and we're going to say if conversion is equal to false, i.e. has this returned false just here, then we want to echo, uh, sorry, something went wrong. Okay. Now, otherwise, we want to go ahead and give the user the, the conversion. I've just noticed that amount here, I could pop an int in front of there, and that will cast this, this value here to an integer. So if the user had typed, say, a1, the result of that would be 1, uh, because it casts everything to an integer, it will remove all characters, uh, anything like that. So, uh, not really important, and not a great deal of validation, but I would uh, highly recommend you validate these as text only. Validate this as numeric only, uh, although we've already cast to an int, and also make sure they all exist. Okay, so otherwise, uh, what we want to do is we want to display the conversion. Relatively simple. I'm just going to say echo conversion zero, comma. I'm going to put an equal sign in there, comma. Remember, we're just sort of concatenating almost. We're not actually concatenating, but uh, giving this another parameter. So we're saying the first value equals conversion one okay so remember uh, arrays in PHP are zero indexed so we're starting at zero which is the uh, first value ie uh, from and conversion one which is two so uh, assuming that I've typed everything correctly haven't spelled anything incorrectly or any other syntax errors we'll go ahead and test this out so I'm going to type in 50 uh, US dollars to Great British pounds click on submit and you see that we get this conversion 50 US dollars is 31 British pounds or 31.6355 now if you wanted to say round this up uh, you could use the uh, number format uh, function but at the moment what we've done is we uh, uh, we have this sort of string data here uh, and it makes it you know hard to manipulate these values here uh, now what we could do is we could actually go ahead and cast these as integers uh, for example, either when we pass them through or afterwards. So, for example, if I was to say int there and I go ahead and refresh, you can see that that just says 31. So we've cast that to an integer. Uh, the same with this one as well. Cast that to an integer and refresh. That just says 50. So 50 equals 31. Doesn't really look, you know, too nice, but there we go. We've just done that. Um, well, I'd recommend casting that to a float, uh, just purely for the reason that you want to keep all of the uh, decimal places afterwards. Uh, and then what you could do is you could go ahead and say number format in here, and you could say say to two decimal places. So it would make it a you know a bit nicer to read. Uh, but it's entirely up to you. You can mess around with these things uh, using. Uh, you know, casting to particular data types uh, and using the number format function. Anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and lastly test what's going to happen if we uh, type in that something goes wrong. So at the moment we've got the uh, standard, you know, thing that we left off at with 50 and then the uh, currency and then the converted to currency. If we go ahead and type in a load of rubbish and click submit, uh, we get the error message, sorry, something went wrong. Anyway, uh, using the Google Calculator API, which is just simply this URL, we've gone a bit round the hacky route and we've converted or we've taken the string that this URL provides. We've got that the contents of it with PHP. We've um, you know hackily exploded this data, uh, checked it, returned it through a function, which is you know a really good way of doing things. Uh, and then we've incorporated a form to check this data. 
um, and paste, not paste it, but uh, apply this into our function and pass it through to our function, get out the values. And I've also included a little bit about how we can cast this to a float uh, and this to a float if, if needs be. Um, and you know you can manipulate that data in different ways. But anyway, that's how to create a currency converter with PHP.